I'm giving myself the permission right now for the first time in a long time to take time off and do nothing. <laughs> Happy Vlogmas. Good morning, everybody, and happy Vlogmas Day 11. How are we doing today? Today feels like it's going to be a good day. I don't really know what I'm going to do with my day. I don't know if I want to clean. As you can see, I do need to clean back there. Um, or if I just want to hang out. Now, the smart thing would be to clean today, get everything done, and then rest tomorrow. But I just want to do nothing. You know? You know, that's like, it's really interesting filming Vlogmas because I feel like I have to do things with my day or I'm not like today, today I feel like I have to do things with my day. The rest of the week I've been fine, but I'm not at the point where like, what do you do on the days you do nothing? What do you film on the days you do nothing? Like I don't have days where I do nothing often, but since I'm filming daily content on, on YouTube right now, I don't have to be working on a video to get put out. I don't have to be doing anything like that. And since I'm waiting on, I have merch coming, so I have to wait on that. Stream, I don't really have much to do for it because I, I preemptively did it before Vlogmas so that I wouldn't have to do it during Vlogmas. So all the work I normally do is is not really a thing right now. And I, for the first time in a long time, I'm giving myself the permission, I'm giving myself the permission right now for the first time in a long time to take time off and do nothing. I took a full weekend off a couple weeks ago. It just was happenstance that it happened. I was just like, you know what? I just wanna binge watch a TV show and I did and it was lovely. And ever since then I was like, I want days where I do absolutely nothing. I want one day where I can do absolutely nothing and I decided for Christmas, I want to give myself time. I want to give myself time to just be a human who doesn't focus on working 24 seven. And I feel like I want to do that one of these two days, but then how do I film that? Like, how do I film that? And you might be like, well, what, you're going to your parents' place. Like, why wouldn't you just wait till your parents' place? Because this is my home, this is my house. This is where I have all my stuff. Like the PS5 isn't coming with us. Um, a shocking, I know. Uh, my desk setup is the way it is, so like I can game, I can do all the things that I wanna do and chill out in my home. And at my parents' place, it's different. There are at least three other people there, and I don't really have my own space, per se. Like my mom works where I, my mom works in my side of the house, and my mom works where I reside, so I don't really have like my space to do nothing and that's okay that's perfectly fine and I'll have so much fun there but before I go I want to just kind of enjoy the nothing anyway at this point I'm just rambling I am going to go figure out food and I think watch the World Cup is my plan because the semifinals are on today and I haven't watched a single World Cup game and I love the World Cup I love the World Cup so much but also I found out my team got like it hasn't been in a firm a long minute, so. Which is really disheartening, because they've, they've never not been in it. They've never not been in it. <laughs> so I'm going to try to watch the World Cup, eat some food, and then see where the day takes me. But I, in order to that, I have to stop talking to you, so. Hello, and welcome back to Bath Talks with Nat. Ooh, so fancy, Bath Talks with Nat. Anyway, it's currently 11.26 p.m. Um, so backstory, I woke up at like 2.30 because I slept in, I got a good night's sleep. It was wonderful, it was magical. Last night, 
I just passed out for a long time. I had like sleep paralysis, it was bad. Apparently Omena tried to wake me and I was unresponsive and he was like, it's cool. Um, which fair enough, it happens when I get glutened. I don't feel gluten today though, so I'm a little confused, but we're gonna move on past that. Um, so I slept for like five hours last night and then I was up, I slept till like midnight and then I was up for a long time and then went to bed again. So I got like a lot of sleep, that's what I'm saying. I got a lot of sleep, but I also ruined my sleep schedule and I am no longer tired at night, which really sucks. Um, I spent a long time getting my sleep schedule back in order because I have insomnia, I've got like, I have major insomnia. I sleep for like four or five hours a night and I don't fall asleep easily. Like it takes so much time for me to fall asleep. And because of that, I don't end up sleeping a lot. And when my sleep schedule is messed up like it is now, I end up like getting in bed around 6 a.m., 5 a.m., 4 a.m., whatever, but I don't fall asleep until like 8, 9, 10 a.m. And that's where we run into problems. <laughs> So today you might be like, oh, my glasses are fogging up. Do I just take them off? No, I can't see. Oh, also, there was like a TikTok that was like, if you do this thing and then you see it go diagonally, you might have like this issue. And they were like listing symptoms. And I was like, I have all of those symptoms. So I'm gonna go see an eye neurologist to see if potentially I need to get prism glasses because oftentimes I say like my glasses feel like they don't work and um, that's one of the symptoms and I have like a bunch of other symptoms that that Coraline, that Coraline, <laughs> like the doll, <laughs> the girl, <laughs> the doll, um, and I have a lot of other symptoms. With um, BVD, I think so it's called, BVD, I don't know. Anyway, so you might be like, what did you do today then with your time? So I went downstairs, I filmed the intro to this vlogmas, and then I think I sat on the couch and death scrolled for a little bit. I did, I sat on the couch and I death scrolled for a little bit. I made a salad and I ate it, and then I played a couple rounds of Valorant. They have a brand new um, Valorant game where it is like unrated, but five rounds and it's not spike rush because you can choose your friends and it's really fun. I did that. And then I watched TV with Omitted for hours. And now we're here. <laughs> and I, I am having troubles with not fully knowing what to film on, uh, specifically today, like what would I have filmed today? Like I don't show Omitted online, so I can't show you like us cuddling on the couch watching TV, like a time lapse of that. But even then, like a time lapse of us just watching TV doesn't sound fun and I don't, necessarily want to fake anything um i don't want to be like oh my god i did all this stuff when i didn't do all that stuff um and i not every day of your life is going to be filled with something you know like as a person as like a real person you're not unless you are making content for the sake of content your life is going to be filled with stuff if there's going to be like a day of you doing nothing today um and maybe that's just what it is i don't know i feel like i probably should have planned vlogmas better i probably should have planned to do stuff but honestly i am just a bit overwhelmed um i go home in a few days and i need to do all the laundry and put stuff away which i still haven't done yet because i am just in a a spiral of like I just can't bring myself to do it and I don't know why I can't bring myself to do it I'm just like the thought of the task is so big that I just can't fathom doing it and it's it's silly but it's where I am and we have food in the house that we have to deal with because we're gone for so long that I have to figure out what to do with the food and we didn't I didn't plan it I didn't here's the thing I didn't plan that's I think my biggest issue right now is last time we were shopping, I kind of forgot how quickly our departure was coming. So I didn't plan for me to be making meals out of the stuff 
we got i was planning on going grocery shopping again but then there's no point in going grocery shopping again if you can't utilize the food and normally at this point i would have bought in food that could be frozen for long periods of time without going bad and i didn't so i didn't think this through that's what i'm saying i should have i should have thought this through a bit more and i didn't so i have to figure out that i should do a deep clean of the house just so we come home to something nice but normally i do that over the span of a few weeks so i'm not overwhelmed and now we're coming up on overwhelmed territory i have to pack for as long as we're there and i have no clue what to bring my body is changing i have hashimoto's thyroiditis which means my body expands and then shrinks and expands and then shrinks and i'm currently in like a massive expanded point at the moment um and not all my clothes fit me and they don't feel good and i don't i can't wear the clothes i want to wear and i understand that like it's just a for now thing and that like my body will regulate again but i don't know when and i'm worried because it hasn't really done it in the past like three weeks two weeks however many weeks i don't know um that's only gonna get worse and if it gets worse i'm stuck without anything so i that's a stressor and then um i lost my water bottle which is so silly it's so silly it's so dumb it's so like small and should be insignificant but if you know me if you're on my streams you know i use the same water bottle every single day and i don't know how to tell you this but i'm a creature of habit and i am not hydrated right now because i don't know how to be without that water bottle and i've been using a different water bottle it's over there which i'm pointing at i'm using a different water bottle right now and my jaw is killing me. It takes so much effort to use that water bottle. I have to like bite down to like open it. And it hurts my jaw so much. Like the, the water bottle I had was so perfect what I needed. And I don't have it anymore. And I don't know where it is and that's really stressing me out. And I, I, I haven't been able to fully think about it because I just keep thinking like it will turn up, it will turn up, it will turn up. But realistically, it's never gonna turn up because I think I left it in an Uber. <sighs> anyway, I'm stressed <laughs> and then I go home and I'm excited to go home. I love going home. Home makes me feel so happy and I love being with my parents. But it's also just one more thing that I'm doing. And I really love my house. I really love my house. And I just kind of want to be in my house and I want to stay in my house, but I want to see my parents. So it's like do i do with that information and then our christmas plans got changed originally we we're gonna be at our house or not our house not not the house i'm in right now not my house but my parents house for christmas but we are now going to our family's house like our extended family's house and that's just another added stressor and i am not prepared i'm not prepared and i'm overwhelmed and a lot is coming up and i don't know how to deal with it emotionally so i'm just kind of in like a frozen state of i want to do nothing and i just want to like sit on the couch and zone out and pretend like nothing is happening i think that's where i'm at i never really thought about it all but i think that's where i'm at like life is really good life is really good right now and i know when i get to my parents house it's gonna be wonderful like i I adore my parents. They are truly, truly, truly my best friends. And I'm very excited to see them. And I'm excited to see the cats and the dog. And just, it's gonna be really good. And the food, oh my God, I'm gonna have the best food ever. I don't have to cook. But I'm also just stressed about everything. And my glasses are fogging up. I'm overwhelmed. I don't like change. I've never been good with change. I've always needed a lot of time to process change, whether it be good change or bad change. I'm really not good at handling change and going home is changing a lot. And going home also comes with new changes that I wasn't expecting with going home in the first place. So. And my merch is yet to arrive. That's the other thing. I ordered merch um, back in November, early November. I, I designed Christmas merch for, for you. I designed Christmas merch for you. But I wanted to make sure that the designs worked on the items I have. And I got one toque, which you have seen. Maybe not YouTube, YouTube hasn't seen it, but Shane has seen it. They just don't know they see it. 
Um, but I had a toque and I also ordered two sweaters and another toque. Surprise, that's what's coming. <laughs> and they have yet to arrive. I ordered them in November, like early November, and they said they would get here latest, 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 the 8th, and my first item arrived so quickly that I was like, oh, amazing, and I messaged them today, or yesterday, or like a couple days ago, I was like, hey, I need you to tell me where my items are, because at this point, I like might not even be able to sell this, because it's going to be past the time of Christmas, so I've wasted my, like, so much time, I put so much time into making this merch, I, I designed it, and I, I love it, and it's perfect, and I want it, and it's so cute, but I put all this time into designing it, all this time into looking at what fabrics are good, what, what, how to do it, and like, what would be better in the long term, and like, all these things for me not to even get my mock-up yet to know if it's gonna work or not it's it's already so late into December that I might not even be able to sell this merch and it was a community goal the community wanted me to sell merch and I I'm trying but I don't want to put out merch that I don't know is good so I need to make sure it looks good and I'm just I'm really disappointed in the company honestly because they came back to me saying like it's a customs issue you gotta deal with customs and i'm like it wasn't a customs issue before and like why was there no communication about this why why haven't there been communication why is there not like like you knew this was a mock-up like i i did a personal order specifically for this and i've gotten zero communication and i know it's because i'm a small person who hasn't had a single sell yet because this is my first time using the company but at the same time i'm like is this even the company i want to go with because if if I haven't received my order yet and they haven't done much about it besides like tough shit, go and talk to customs. And how do you talk to customs? Like what what number do I call? Like 1-800-CANADA-CUSTOMS.com Like what, what number? Like give me resources please because I don't know anything. I've never had to do this before and I'm just really frustrated. They're like, well, you might have to pay duties. I'm like, I would have gotten a notice if I had to pay duties. There was no notice. I haven't had to pay duties. Also, usually if I have to pay duties, they like come to your door. <laughs> at least in my experience, usually everything else that I've ever gotten had duties to pay for. Like they either dropped off at like a center and left you a note being like, hey, you have to come pay. Or they sent somebody and was like, hey, make sure they pay first. One or the other. Anyway, um, merch is gonna come at some point and I'm just, I think I'm stressed at the, the prospect of losing that venture um, with all the time and energy I put into it and not meeting the expectations of my community because I promised them something and it looks like I might not even be able to fulfill it even though I've tried really hard to fulfill it um, mixed with stress about change and leaving and doing stuff. And I still haven't got a call from the doctor. The doctor still has yet to call me, tell me if there's anything wrong. So I have to wait till Monday to call them. I guess I'm just overwhelmed. I'm gonna get out of this bath and see if I can't fold the laundry. Like finally put away the laundry for real. Because at least then that's one thing I have to do out of the way. And at this point I have to do more laundry. Okay, 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 okay. This is this is so beyond exciting. I can't I don't know where my book is. I don't know where it is. Anyway, okay, it doesn't matter. This is this is so exciting. Okay, so Liz just sent me a trailer. <laughs> okay, Liz just sent me a trailer. And my all-time favorite book, uh specifically horror book, is We've Always Lived in This Castle. I love it so much. And they just turned into a movie. I <sighs> I am so excited. I cannot wait to see this. I think this is going to be the only like horror-esque movie I ever will see in theaters. I, this is the best news ever and I think it's the motivation I have to clean because I'm just so excited I need to get like my energy out somehow. <sighs> anyway, I, the, the great day. Great. Listen, I knew, I knew day 11 was going to be good. I told you day 11 was going to be the best day. It is so far. <sighs> Anyway, I'm just really excited. <laughs> Hello, it's editing out here. Um, so after this clip, 
I ended up doing the laundry. I didn't wash anything, but I put it all away, omitted, came and helped, and it made it just so much easier and so much more fun. So kudos to him because he also cleaned the, sk the kitchen this morning, and that was really nice. But it is now 6 a.m., so I got to go to bed. Uh, but don't forget to leave a like, click share. I know somehow we're going to get there. And if you could subscribe and comment. That's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow for day 12. Bye, future ghosts.